all right welcome back everyone for another video so i know i promised you guys i would be doing my testimony video and i would be doing my first uh topic bible study video and i haven't done either of those i tried to do my testimony video and i guess the way that i um i wrote it out came out to be a lot longer than I was expecting to do so I, I put a little maybe a little too much detail into it um when I first recorded it I actually came out with three part like a part three part videos and I still wasn't done so I have to go back and rework how I want to do my testimony video I'm still gonna do it don't worry I was still gonna do it I just have got to like rethink on how I'm going to structure it so I'm not putting in too much details and making it a entire series testimony thing. I really don't want to do that. I just want it to be a single, like a 30 minute long video of exactly what I did to get from point A to point B, which is now. Um, and what I'm probably going to do is I'm, I'm going to keep, I, I put a lot of effort into writing out my testimony so i mean if you guys want to read the whole entire fine details crap um i will post the link to my google docs in the description below of that video um but i just won't include all of it all the little fine details in the actual video itself i just haven't gotten around to doing that yet um because i still need a structure though um as for the uh, topic study video, what I was going to do about God's love and all that sort of things, um, that came out to be a lot bigger topic and subject than I was imagining it to be. And I don't have the knowledge, the, the, the oh, maybe not the knowledge, but like the, um, the capability of compiling it all down into a single study like pastors do okay he's like um it is extremely overwhelming I, I got completely swamped i had like over a hundred different bible verses all pertaining to god's love now i i have it all written down i have it all bookmarked i have it got to be so overwhelming that i had i i can't do it um Maybe when I'm a little more experienced in the Bible and everything else, I can go. I can try that again, or maybe I should try a different topic. But that one specifically, that topic in general, is a really broad topic. Now, what I'm going to do instead is I found another video that someone else made that is a lot better compiled, a lot better pertaining to that topic that actually I really really love that video um so I'm gonna put that video in the description below of this video because that's the best I can do right now so instead of me doing a topic video I am going to go back to what I was doing before okay I I should have just stuck with that one what I was doing because it was working um so I am going to go back to doing my genesis uh um Bible study Friday, Genesis, and then I'm going to go back to doing my Bible study Mondays on uh, Monday, Matthews. So I'm going to go back to doing Genesis and Matthew. So obviously today's Monday. I am not going to be able to get to the uh, Matthew study today. I mean, I, I mean, granted, I might try. I'm going to try and get it done. Um, so I'm going to work on that today. And if I can get done today, then I will do a video today and post it. But it probably won't be... Uh, I mean, I probably will post it tonight, or maybe I might even just do it tomorrow and try and stay on top of it. But I am going to go back to doing Genesis and Matthew because, like I said, that is what I was doing. That was what I was actually kind of understanding and good at, and it was no real confusion. Um, I have been actually really stressing out over trying to do trying to do this uh, topic study and. It's not, it's, it, no, no offense to the person who recommended it. It's just not worth me doing. And I'm just going to go back to what I know I could do. Um, I also got my daily bread. So I'm going to start doing daily breads as well. So today would be August something, August 7th, 8th, 9th, like that. So what I'm going to do too is like on one of those, like either in Matthew or Genesis, probably Genesis because I think Genesis is going to be the easiest. I'm going to include... 
Oh my god, I'm gonna at least read this and uh, go from there. I mean, I think I was told that that daily bread is if it really is really essential, so I'm going to include this into my either Monday or Genesis, depending on how much time I have left in each video. Um, the other thing, um, so the other thing I was going to talk to you is I am going to be starting to do, uh, my, um, crock pot videos again because food prices are going up. Um, I cannot keep affording to go to the convenience store and buying food or ordering out food or going to, um, uh, uh, fast food places and ordering food. So I am going to go back to using crock pot meals and making food for like a week or two. So I got a bunch of recipes. I'm going to do a recipe today because I, I left the chicken out to defrost. Um, I think I got to go to the store and grab a couple more things and that's it. But yes, I'm going to do a crock pot recipe for tonight because I'm off, I'm off today. I'm off tomorrow and I'm off Wednesday and I'm off Thursday. I'm, I got a four day weekend this week because, um, Thursday morning, I am taking my driving test. So I'm hoping I come back Thursday with an announcement saying, Hey, I got my driver's license. Um, Thursday night, I have to take off again because my roommate just got a job, uh, a really, really good paying job. And his orientation is first thing Friday morning. And I won't get back on time for him to do that. So, uh, well, Okay, well, hold on, let's think. I'm gonna try and take Thursday night off. I might, I might either try and try and do a half shift and like come back early so he can do that, or I might just take Thursday entirely off. I'm gonna talk to my manager and see what happens. Um, but there's that too. Uh, the other thing I'm do, gonna do is, and I know I'm, I'm I'm bombarding you guys with a bunch of information and whatnot. And at least I'm not letting you out this minute. Um, my cat. If you guys have noticed, I am wearing. Two new bracelets okay so these are called paracord bracelets and uh, I absolutely love doing paracord okay and I, I, I for whatever freaking reason I don't know why I stopped uh, probably because no one buys them or anything but I'm gonna continue I'm gonna start back I have a whole entire bag full of paracord like I will actually I'll, I'll do a video after this and show you what paracord stuff I have um, but I have a ton, a ton of paracord and buckles and everything. So I'm going to start going back to doing paracord. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but I kind of want to every now and then in like a video advertise like, Hey, I got this now up and, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to put up an Etsy. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to restart my Etsy thing and put these up. And see if I can actually get anyone back to interested in, in wearing these or using them. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, like I said, sorry about all the all the information, all the announcements and updates and everything. It's just been a really hectic week. Uh, oof, but whatever. Oh, and if you guys noticed, I did cut my hair a little bit. Um, my hair really needed to be trimmed. I needed to get rid of the dead ends and try and help it grow out longer. So yes, my hair is a little shorter. But with me continuously going to a uh, the, the salon every four weeks or so, I'm going to get her to uh, keep it trimmed and... That way, hopefully, then the way it, what the where, where it was like, I think it was like down to here last time. Uh, it'll grow out longer and healthier, and maybe I should go past that. I mean, I, I want it to go down the length of my back eventually, but I had to do it because it was just really not working. So, yeah. Anyways, like I said, uh, Bible studies coming up again. Doing cooking videos. I really like doing these cooking videos. I'm just gonna do the crock pot ones. I'm not actually cooking. Um, let's see. Daily bread's coming up soon too. Um, paracord. 
what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's not a whole lot going on. I can say, and it's just, that was the main thing. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm, this has just been a really stressful week and everything. I've just not been, not been doing so hot. Um, people are just being cruel. I've been questioning whether or not, I mean, I, whether or not I'm actually in the whole entire belief system with the, with Christians or whatnot, I don't I don't know how to fully explain it. Yeah, I, I don't I don't fully know how to explain what's been going on. Um, people are just being extremely cruel, extremely. Why not? And I'm be I'm actually starting to question what's actually a Christian because most of the Christians I've met are these rude people who think that they can talk down on people or on other people and think it's okay uh i actually got kicked out of uh three servers on discord for standing up for someone because they're talking down on women um this one guy thought it was okay to go body shaming someone. Thought it was okay to go, um, okay, now forgive my term, slut shaming someone for having a high body count. And when I say high body count, I don't mean like high body count and like murder, because that's usually what people are referring to. No, I'm talking about high body count and how many people they've slept with. Um, according to him, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be with anyone who has any kind of high body count because in his own words no one wants a used piece of thing um and he won't be with anyone but a virgin so i don't know and he was just continuously degrading women and saying that of course women need women need a guy like no we don't need a guy Okay, I mean, this, this, this one video, the pastor even set, flat out said, if it was up to him, if it was up to them and everything, women would be the ones in charge because women don't need a guy. We are, men and women are meant to complete each other, to become like one in, one in a whole. And we're meant to, I don't know, I, I know I'm going back to the whole Genesis study my Genesis uh, chapter one, chapter two, I think it is, uh, where the whole men and women, they, they're, God had created men and women to come together as equal and work side by side, not to be dominant over the one or the other. But the pastor had even said that if it came between him and his wife, his wife would have been the head of the household because she's completely independent. She's completely, uh, in his own words, like a little more, domineering than he is but he's still head of the household because that's how god wanted it to be um this guy is saying that women shouldn't be with more than what shouldn't be with a lot of people and granted i get it there are tons of people who have been with more than one guy who have been with okay i'm an example myself but that's also because at the time, I wasn't Christian, and I really believed these guys that I was with was someone I was going to be with for a long term, okay? And it's not like I'm going around and selling my body for money, selling my V, what do you want to call it, like prostituting myself out for money. I'm not doing that. I mean, granted, there are some women who are, and I'm not, like, I'm not shaming anyone for it. And... As Christians, you shouldn't be shaming anyone either. You shouldn't be acting like you're all that and that you shouldn't be judging someone based off of their path, based off of their lifestyle, based off of them in general. And then put it on blast into a, into a server, that's, that's not okay. I, I don't see that being okay. And because I stood up for someone else who stood up for them for, stood up for them and kicked that person out, I got kicked out. I have three servers. Three. 
two of them were actual Christian servers, supposed Christian servers, and I don't, I am, I'm the, and this is not like the first time either, I see, a lot of Christians tend to put on, I get, and I, I explained this I think into another video, where Christians are acting, they're saying they're Christians, and they're not actually Christians. But now I'm getting the idea that maybe I'm the minority out. Like maybe that is how a Christian is supposed to be. And the way I think, the way I view things is not how it's supposed to be. How, how Christians are supposed to be. Like what, am I supposed to be an asshole like these people are? Am I supposed to judge someone for how many people they've slept with? Like I'm supposed to judge people based off of their personality and the... Uh, the, the, the political stance that they're on. Um, I, I mean, I didn't think the word, I thought we were supposed to go loving people based off of what the Bible said. Love your neighbor as you do yourself. Um, another one is don't judge some, don't judge uh, people. Um, what was the other one that I, that I kind of remember? Um, there's don't judge, don't judge someone. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Um, I know there are other verses in the Bible, I just can't remember what they are, and I I, I have been given the idea, that the, the, the image that we're not supposed to be these kind of people who are con condescending, looking down on other people kind of thing. I, I thought we were supposed to be better than that, and yet, I don't know, now I'm getting an idea that just maybe I'm the one in the wrong here. Um, I'm going to try and, uh, do an actual, uh, like I said, I'm going to continue doing my studies and everything like this, but, and get ideas and feedback from other Christians and find out if this is how Christians are supposed to be. Like, maybe, am I the, in the wrong here? Like, I don't, I, I, I'm going off on tantrum. I'm not even sure I'm even explaining it correctly. Um, I, like I said, I had originally thought just Christians are supposed to hold themselves to a different standard than everyone else. And yet, the, this guy is claiming to be a Christian. This other guy is claiming to be a Christian. This guy is claiming to be a Christian. This girl is claiming to be a Christian. And yet, they're all doing controversial things that I, that I wouldn't deem to be Christian-like. So, I'm not even fully sure maybe I'm maybe I'm just so out of touch with or not, not like out of touch but like I'm so far behind in my studies of being a Christian that I'm not fully understanding what it means to be a Christian I don't know I just like I I, I think I, gotta, I think I have to go back into my body my bible and just really dig into this kind of topic and find out what it means to actually be a Christian because clearly I'm in the wrong here, and it, well, either I'm in the wrong here, or I just don't flat out know what it means to be a Christian. Like, like I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling now. Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna end this video because, like I said, all I'm doing is rambling now, and this was supposed to be just an update video, and whatever. I, I'm just like I just decided to ramble on because I was a little annoyed. That I got kicked out of some servers over trying to defend, trying to defend my friends and stand up for people being slut shamed and just dis disrespected like that way. But that's that's a whole different thing, a whole different topic, and whatnot. So I might actually just no, I don't know. I'm kind of just sitting here now. Anyways, uh, like I said, just forget what I said. Um, I got a bunch of things coming up soon. Like I said. Crockpot video, Bible, uh, Daily Bread, Bible studies come up again soon. Uh, I'm gonna do some paracord. I got, I just did one to today. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I just did this one last night. So I have this paracord here. See, isn't it pretty? I actually really like it. I love this color. Um, I have a ton of paracord 
all just sitting in a bag right here next to my bed. And uh, I am going to look at trying to do collars, leashes, bracelets, obviously, um, monkey fists, uh, survival stuff, whatever, why not? I don't know. Like I said, I just, I, I, I like doing these kind of stuff, especially since I can take these to work and work on them and keep myself busy instead of just watching Netflix or whatnot. I'm, but, I don't know, these, these, making these things kind of relax me, so. And if I can get people back interested in them and I can get, um get my own little tiny business set up for this because that's what I was originally trying to do then great but if not I'm just doing it just for fun because I like doing it but I can't really do anything else um I'm not very skilled at leather working um but I can do this so anyways I'm gonna end this video before I draw it on too long and I bore you guys to death but uh like I said, stay tuned in for the next videos. Uh, I got some bun I got some ideas are coming up. So hit the subscribe button. Share this video with you guys as friends. Um, maybe don't share this video with your friends considering I just rambled on. Uh, hit the bell button so you get notifications. And uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, leave a leave just comment below, and uh, I will get back to it in the next video. Alright, you guys have a good morning, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.